Well, you saw me put a hole in the bottom of this pot, so I thought that I ought to show you how to repair it. <laughs> so how does one go about repairing a hole in the bottom of a pot like that? You can do it, it's not always successful, but why don't we give it a try? Let's focus in right there. Um, focus in right there on the on the base of the pot there so so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clay which is I'm going to take a, take a lump of clay and I'm going to form it into a disc like that. I'm putting a little recess here, like a little, like a small gallery, just to give the clay a little bit more purchase. So I'm making a little ledge there, you see. Now, what we're going to need to do is dampen the base of the pot. Because this is going to be a bit like attaching a handle to a pitcher. You're attaching soft clay to harder clay. So what we want to do is minimize the, the risk of cracking. So now I'm going to take this disc, I'm going to locate it there, on top, and I'm going to just Join it, smear it, and smooth it around, you see. Okay, but then what I'm going to do is... I can't really... I can't really see inside. So I'm going to... Now that's not going to fit, is it? I'm going to get something to push. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to need a, a bat. Hang on, I'll get a bat. You're probably thinking he's making this up as he goes along. <laughs> and you're partially right, because I don't do this that often, you know. Occasionally I have a, a mishap or an accident. But I'm going to put that down on there now. Now I'm going to take this with a bit of water, and I'm going to... With the end of the, the paintbrush here, I'm, I'm going to take that soft clay that I've applied from the bottom and I'm going to work it, smooth it, on the inside using the paintbrush, you see. Now 
to make a join. Very high tech. Okay, right. So I'm flattening that, you see, now. Let's pull back the camera a little bit. All right, there it is. Now. So what I want to do now is I want to speed things up a little bit. Alright, so I've now I've now dried that a little bit here in the middle. And I'm gonna to have to very, very carefully Just clean this up a little bit here. Can you hear the rain? I'm actually going to depress it a little bit. And by depressing it, I'm not then going to have to remove so much material, you see. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get it centered. I'm now going to just
so. There it is. Now, it's probably a good idea that perhaps I don't let this dry too fast. So I might just put this, wrap it in plastic to slow down any tendency to crack because of the differences of the hardness of the soft bottom and the and the pot itself, which is a little bit stiffer, you see. So there we have it, those... And this is another little one that I did when you weren't looking. <laughs> so... Just a few examples there of some uh, narrow-necked and narrow-footed round pots, which you can you can really make these. You see, any size you want to. Just keep the proportions the same, but just make them bigger. What I'm going to do now is put my, put my mark on them and then they'll be ready to be, to be dried out, etc. So, keep practicing. <laughs>